I'm Tony Cass, I'm Professor of Chemistry here at the Department of Chemistry at Imperial College in London. My research is in the area of point of decision diagnostics. Uh, this includes things like glucose measurement in diabetes, measuring antibiotics in the blood, measuring arsenic in drinking water and rapid detection of influenza virus. We basically make devices, and we make devices by combining micro or nanostructured materials with biological molecules. So for example, we might have a biological molecule that recognizes an influenza virus. That virus is captured on the surface of a nanomaterial, and the properties of the nanomaterial change. Or we might have an enzyme which reacts with glucose, and we coat that onto microneedles, which are then worn by people with diabetes to continuously monitor their glucose levels. So it's a combination of fabrication, material science, and what you might call biomolecular engineering. So one of the main tools that we use for making these devices is the Cyanion Flex Array. The Flex Array is a key tool in all of our projects. We use it, for example, for writing proteins onto paper surfaces. We might use it for depositing an enzyme onto the surface of an electrode as tiny spots of material. Or, most challengingly, we use it to deposit material onto the surface of a microneedle array where we need to be able to deposit very small volumes with very high spatial precision. So exactly the right volume at exactly the right place. I think the, the main advantage of the Flex Array, the Cyanion instrument, is its versatility. So we can use it in a research context for depositing uh, new materials or developing new uh, deposition methods, but we can also scale it up to produce hundreds of devices in a run. So whereas previously people were having to essentially deposit liquids by hand uh, and so they got very tired, got bored, could only make a few devices, now with the, with the Flex Array we can not only vary how we deposit material but we can then reproduce that over and over again. So for example we've made hundreds of sensors to take to Bangladesh for testing arsenic in drinking water. That couldn't have been done without uh, the Flex Array. The future is going in, in several different directions, so we're very interested in making devices that are going to be usable in low and middle income countries. So developing the arsenic testing in drinking water, primarily for Bangladesh and West Bengal, de detecting influenza virus in countries like Vietnam and China, the aim there is not just to get the science right, but to be able to deliver the devices at a, at a price that's compatible with their use in relatively low middle income countries. So that's one area. The other area is continuous monitoring of physiology. So like the uh, glucose measurement continuously in diabetes, we're also developing other continuous wearable microneedle sensors.